talk about a topic so many of you just love out there, oh, taxes. don't you? Already, it's well, not even it's, the beginning of the year, but it's a good time yeah, to get started to prepare. Right. So we brought in the expert, CPA Robert Hawkinsmith, here with us. Uh, already? Starting already? To talk about taxes? <laughs> yeah, it's it's nowhere December. near April. It's all about planning. It's okay. not waiting until the last minute. It's all about planning, right? All right, so start planning ahead. What are the steps that we need to take here? What should we be thinking about? There's a number of things you can do between now and the end of the year to prepare so that your taxes in April will be far reduced. Okay. One is to contribute to all the five credits that are available. Arizona is the only state in the country that offers these tax credits for making charitable oh. contributions. And there's a new one. A brand new one. And it's basically for the Arizona Foster Children Organization. Okay. Uh, AZ Hope, I believe it is, okay. dot com is the website for that. And what does that mean? There well, it is right there. What you can, there you go. What you can do is you can actually make a contribution if you're a single person of $400 mm -hmm. to this organization. And if you're a married couple, $800. Mm -hmm. And this is money straight off your Arizona tax return. Wow. So you actually get all of this money back. Oh, so it's a credit. It's a credit. Yeah. It's a tax credit. Wow. Just okay. like the other four that we know about, the private school, the right. public school, the working poor, the military you know, uh, relief fund. Well, let's talk about the private school really okay. uh, quickly here because what is it? Uh, uh, 1031, uh, right. if I'm not mistaken here, as I cheat off that, of my script. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's for a single yes. person. Okay. okay. It's actually there two it credits there. in one. It's 514 and 517, which makes ten, you know, $1,031. For a single person, mm -hmm. $2,062 for a married family. And you don't have to have children in school to do this. You can okay. do it you know, of your own. And then you have an opportunity to get that money back from the state of Arizona. But here's the big benefit, guys. Mm -hmm. You give the money to the, to the school, right? And you get this credit back from your tax refund. On your federal tax return, this becomes a charitable contribution, and you actually make money. No oh, wow. way. Yeah, you get as much as, if you're a married couple, you uh -huh. get as much as $1,100 bigger refund for doing all five credits. Wow. And, Robert, I know we're going to talk about the Department of Veterans Services right. uh, coming up next. Right. I, 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 uh, just in a moment, before we get to that, I want to ask you, and I apologize for the tax ignorance here, but do I do this now, or do I wait for January 1st? No, you have to. Good question. You have to do this now to make the contribution by December 31st in order to take the deduction for 2013. Oh, so okay. I have until December 31st right. to make these moves. Right. And then okay. when you do your tax return in, two, in April, yeah. these are already done for 2013. Oh. You get the credit back from the state, yeah. and you get extra money from the federal government. Well, oh. and you know, this time of year, so many people are donating, and some people don't realize that you right. can donate and, and include it in your taxes. You mm -hmm. know, this is an opportunity for you to make a contribution to an organization you want to contribute mm -hmm. to, because you're going to have to pay taxes one way or the other, so why not reduce the taxes by making a contribution where you want it to go? Mm -hmm. okay, okay, so we are uh, running tight on time here. Talk about the uh, tax preparation organizations, the donation you're saying to uh, help the working poor, 200, right. right? Right. It's 200 for a single person, 400 for a married couple. Okay. Mostly food banks, but you've got Salvation Army, Goodwill, St. Vincent de Paul. Oh. They are organizations that assist the working poor. So um, Oh, go ahead. Oh, no. Is, do we have to get receipts from these organizations? Yes. Yes, okay. you definitely want to get a receipt. Now, if you go online, you can print the receipt right there. Okay. You can mail it in. They'll send you a receipt. All of them give you receipts, and you want to have those receipts to give to your tax preparer so you can take the credit. Final no. uh, quick question. License plates. I oh, think yeah. that we have a graphic. If we can get to that graphic, it's my fault. I'm jumping ahead here. It's okay. Look at our team right on top of it here. Right. Tell me about license plates quickly. You can actually make, you know, you pay for your license tags ahead of time. Okay. And, in fact, if you pay for two years' worth of license tags, you get about a 15 or 20% yeah. reduction. Right. And if you get rid of the car before the two years is up, you get a credit back, so you don't lose that money either. Oh, my I have no gosh. Idea. You yeah. are full of yes. information. If you want to find out more about preparing your taxes, you can actually find Robert on the web, azmoneyguy.com, right. uh, and on Facebook as well. And, you know, of course, we'll link it to our abc15.com sure. homepage as well. So thank you. You're full of, you're Thanks, full of it. Full of information. <laughs>